Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the School Technology Report for this Tuesday, September 28, 2010. My name is Brad Flickinger with schooltechnology.org, and today we're going to continue our conversation about podcasting, especially my podcasting I do here in my elementary school. So as you know from following my blog, I do a lot of podcasting with my students. We do it daily, and in fact, we're, we're breaking into the idea of in fourth grade, all the students, every student will produce their own podcast about an academic subject. So we're going to go from just morning news into the academics. And so here's my Bethke Elementary website here, uh, bethkeelementary.com. I'm just on our podcasting page. I'm just going to click on play here for the last Elementary Friday Internet show. Elementary in Colorado. This is episode 158, and today Very is Friday. Good here. morning, Bobcats. This is Maddie and Sarah with the K-Bob Daily Podcast from Bethke Elementary in Timnath, Colorado. This is episode 158, and today is Friday, September 24th, 2010. All right, pause. All right, so there's uh, episode 158, I think she said. So we've been doing all this for the last year, and now we're getting into this year doing it. Now, the emails I get are like, uh, Brad, how do you do podcasting? It's great that you do it, but how do you do it, and how can I do it in my school? Well, I'm going to show you what I where I got all my background from, and that is yeah, my Atomic Learning account. So I'm in here, I'm just logged in as Brad Flickinger in the front page of my Atomic Learning. I just wanted to show you under Workshops, I'm just going to click on the Workshop tab here, I'm just scroll down a little bit, and down here under Podcasting they have uh, for iLife 06 and for iLife 09, and this is podcasting and vodcasting, so video podcasting as well. And th look at this Podcasting Workshop here, an introduction to audio podcasting. Click on that, and look at how many... Things. So if you have no idea, and this is what I send my students to. We have uh, accounts across our whole school. So I just send them into here and they have to go through and watch these little uh, tutorials and videos on introduction. Like here, do I need an iPod? Let's get down into, uh, look at everything with Audacity. Here's all the Audacity things. So if we want to, let's see, let's pick one here using the selection tool. Here's a minute and 38 uh, video here. One minute, 38 seconds. Now let's look at the selector tool. The selector tool is the eye-shaped tool located in the tools toolbar. The selector tool is used to select a starting point for audio playback or to identify a certain portion of the timeline that we want to cut or edit or add. All right, so there's how to select. Let's go back into, maybe we, so maybe you're using GarageBand for your podcast, your Mac district, and you want to use GarageBand. Well, adding a vocal recording, let's go click on this right here. Now we'll add a vocal track to the new theme song. We'll do that by going up to the track menu and choosing new basic track. You'll see the track appear in the timeline. All right, so there you go. So everything, and then how to create the RSS feed and how to use the feed burner. All those things I got from going just to Atomic Learning and learning how to be a podcaster. Now, we're doing a little kind of more advanced things now, so we kind of got to get uh, from the basics that they show in that workshop we actually have to work a little more advanced and come things that our students are doing now. We've been doing it for 158 episodes. So really, we'll go into the tutorial side here. We'll open up uh, like Audacity because that's what we use in our in our school. And we just show you how thorough that is. All right, we have it on the PC platform. So I'm going to click on that. Look at 50 tutorials on Audacity are inside here. It's just absolutely amazing. And so, of course, Audacity, this is covering everything from doing music and all those things. But my kids, they just want to do a little bit more, and especially under these editing. So they'll be in here, and they want to use, like, the envelope tool or uh, viewing the edit history that you've got and panning in the stereo track, those type of things. And so they'll get a little bit deeper into those uh, different tutorials there. So there's my big secret on how I learned how to be a podcaster in my elementary school. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you tomorrow. And remember, I love people to follow me on Twitter. Uh, I don't know, that's some weird ego thing that I have there. And also, I like it when you guys uh, um, subscribe to my podcast, because then you'll get it every day in your email. Um, you'll get my blog in your email. So it works out great that way. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.